Hello everyone, in today's video it's uh, step 5 actually of the series that we have started a couple of days ago and in it I'll try to bring the image that I have uh, here that represents the first floor after we manage to insert the ground floor image and successfully created the external and the internal partitions of that in addition to the upper and lower uh, floor. So I'm going to take this image which is uh, JPG number 4 and insert it in the appropriate uh, level. So I'm going to go to level 1 here. I'm going to select the slab and then hit element hide. And based on the amount of times I just repeated this video, I would highly recommend it to, you know, uh, just select everything and in the filter just, uh, you know, remove the floors. So I can get all the walls, hit copy here, the copy to clipboard one, and don't use this one of course. And then in the paste just use a line to select it level and just pick level one. And by doing that I'm going to get a copy, a temporary copy actually, of everything we have in the ground floor, having it here in the, in the first floor. And I'm going to go again to level one, and I'm going to go like a VV, and up on the keyboard. And I'm just going to change the visibility of those walls, any cut part of them to be fully solid, maybe anything color like a red. So it's really helped me, you know, to, you know, see the, the cut areas uh, really clear color rather than, you know, if, if you don't, it's just going to say this faded images of the underlay light, very light gray that's really hard to be seen when you apply the image. So what I've done here by copying and changing the color, I um, copied the walls from the ground floor and changed them just to allow me to see easily through the the what what I have done in the ground floor in a, in a better visualized way. Anyway, back to insert, back to image, same process that we've done, and uh, in it, I'm gonna just change, just select an image number four and place it aside. Again, repeating whatever we've done so in the annotation or the model line, if you want. I'm gonna pick a random, the random door, which is technically the random door that we picked last time. Probably need to zoom in here and have a little bit of a push upward here, and this one a little bit downward. There is no exact correct location, as I said before. Now I'm going to move that exactly 1000, that's what I want, the actual width that we assume it, and then we're going to select the image, and then we zoom in again, and use the scale based on a graphical uh, system, start from here, and then that's the end to be like exactly at the 1000 millimeter. So I know it's not 100% accurate, it shouldn't be actually 100% accurate, but we need to go as as much accurate as we can go and if I move I will just you know because when I when I place this this the external walls here it's just actually a little bit bigger than those external walls and if you have a look at the images like this probably you see that there is lots of places where the first floor it's actually a little bit bigger than the ground floor. So that, that, that really annoying, you know, especially when you have this type of, of drawings. It's really a good, smart way to choose wherever the stairs is here. And because it's the same space, it won't change, you know, the same staircase uh, area. So I'm going to zoom in here and have this is as my reference now. And I'm just going to move it from that point, which is the stairs, internal uh, intersection of those walls and place it here. And when I do that, I will notice that whatever I've done before in the previous ground floor scaling was not really working well in here. The image is still actually bigger than the, the document that I have and I need to scale it down again. That's okay and that's happened. Keep in mind, probably you need to select the image and a little bit push it down. You see now that the useful change of the color into red to compare it to the black. Now you see I just reuse the arrows on my keyboard to place that correctly and again I need to use the scale but this time I'm going to scale it from or based on the inter 
uh, you know, the inner space of the, the staircase. I'm going to start from this point and I'm going to use, uh, let me use an external point from here exactly to here. So, uh, oops, uh, sorry. So again, just you know, I did that by mistake. So I'm going to select from this point and I'm going to place, should have placed the internal, should take the image actually, like this one, and push it toward my existing wall, not the other way around. That's what I should have done. So let's check if it's working properly. It seems now much better. See, this wall is almost perfect location. And that is actually a perfect alignment, you know, like I wouldn't expect to get it that accurate, actually. And each time you do this, it's impossible if you try it after me at home, you're going to get a little bit of a difference. So it's okay to keep like doing this a couple of hundred times until you get it accurate. I, I actually myself repeated that like six, seven times until I get the result. And I have to repeat this video like six, seven times. It's okay. I'm just uh, keep repeating just to get this accurate result, as much accurate as I can with a less headache for you, but for you, you might need to go a little bit of a trial and error in order to get the exact position of the image, because I see it's just a pixelization. It's impossible to get it 100% accurate, but as far as I see now, it's really great and it's going good. And now to explain what I was saying, that, that this might be, you know, you see like this area is a little bit bigger on the first floor and probably you notice that in the images as I said some area where the first floor is actually bigger than the ground floor and also in here you can see that it's obviously just I wanted to waste some time actually to talk about it because you know in the beginning it wasn't make sense for me you see this lots of added boxes that covered up with the brown just added that as an, uh, an extra spaces, see this area where that's uh, that uh, that uh, the vertical wall that we have, the inclined one, and you see this brown box. If you have a look in here, that's that's happening here. So it's a bigger on the first floor, then it goes smaller on the ground, and that's what happened exactly. See, it's big here, and when you go back to the GF, you're gonna see it's here. That's that's here, and this one is actually set it back a little bit. So now we need to, you know, fully understand that in this uh, step before we go ahead. So you get yourself uh, accustomed that there's the spaces, as you can see. That's the ground the floor vital right here. It goes like a, like, like a 600 to 700 millimeter, like can't leave it here. And then another like a 1.1 or 1.2 here box added of a wood. So same thing in here and same thing here. Uh, so that's been said and, and, and cleared out and I think those a little bit of a, like a cabinet a built in cabinet those are provided in where they are here see that's the only that's how I think the only places where the ground floor is actually bigger than uh, the ground the first floor uh, it's, it's they're just here I ignored them as I said and I'm gonna get back to them to model them later on so now let's, before we finish this video, we need to, you know, get back to this guy. And probably, you know, select all the walls. Make sure you have in the filter just walls. And then I'm just going to delete them. I just don't need them anymore. And get back to the uh, level one. And by that, I have my uh, my walls actually been, uh, you know, my, uh, my, my, my plan is actually placed almost almost as much as we can as accurate as as we need here probably you can keep the walls if you like the ground the floor walls and then we just change their types or you just can turn them off now if you, if you start it's okay you can you know snap to whatever you know whatever happening under uh, under this level in the ground floor that's the really nice thing when you start up using the underlay, underlay. and but anyhow now it's uh, the documents is uh, fully fully set you can just you know select this guy and use the pin here so it won't move by accident anymore see and that's really useful because you're going to move lots of things you know around and i will advise you again to go back to the ground floor 
and do the exact same thing by pinning this so it won't move by accident and here we go now we have the document uh, ready for the next step that we to do to need to define the ground we need to define the the exterior walls and the partitions for the first floor thank you for watching guys and uh, uh, have a good day bye bye